Hello, welcome to Cyber Skill Farm. I'm with Gian and Ray. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, Hi. Grace. Hi, Rens. <laughs> If you get value from videos like this and what more, smash that like button and subscribe to get updates on the new content. If there's a specific topic or skill in IT you want to learn, comment below and we'll check it out. It's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> hi, hi. Yeah. Uh, Gyal, Gian is expert in security. <laughs> so, Gian, how did you start your career to IT? <clears throat> Um, well, <clears throat> I started my career in IT by um, taking my first job that is <laughs> in the field of IT, of course, as you may know, <clears throat> as a graduate of ECE or Bachelor of Science in Electronics and Communication Engineering, there's a lot of doors in different fields for you to um, choose from after graduation. So you can work in telecoms, you can work in semicon, some other works in biomed. Um, but uh, at the time, as well, I was already um, thinking that my uh, the, the first job would be very crucial in the, on the career growth that I wanted, which is in IT, of course. So I only focused on <laughs> taking my first job that is related in IT. I didn't uh, I didn't get any other uh, other fields. Uh, actually, I, I really can forget <laughs> that I started as a minimum wage earner in IT. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you know, <laughs> as a graduate of bachelor's degree and as a board of passer, you have this pride that, um, oh, I passed that uh, board exam, which <laughs> really gave us a very hard time. Uh, five years of college and then the board exam, board which exam. is very hard. Yeah, then, um, of course, um, after, after doing the, all of those you will have this uh, thinking at the back of your mind uh, saying that your expectation of salary would be <laughs> at this <laughs> level, yeah. But uh, the, the, the uh, reality slapped me in the face. <laughs> I didn't have any experience. I didn't have any certifications. And there's a lot of people exactly like me coming from an evil, when, well-known schools, actually, yeah, looking for the same job. That's why I, land, I landed in, the, in a minimum uh, which earner, but actually I didn't really hide that. I was even proud to say that to my colleagues and to my um, to my classmates, thinking at the back of my mind that I started at the very bottom of the food chain, <laughs> and then after five years or ten years, um, it will be very different. And I am really shocked because it really happened beyond my expectations. <laughs> yeah. Then how did you landed to career in the IT? So, did you, yeah. Um, yeah, of course, it, it will be a, a, a perseverance of your <laughs> uh, take, take, uh, having a lot of interviews with IT or different IT companies. Okay, so what motivate, motivates you to pursue this career or path? Maybe the salary. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> kidding aside, kidding aside. Initially, I just wanted to learn how the internet works. Yeah, and then the the when when you look at the job street and the LinkedIn, the network engineer job sounded very cool to me at that time. <laughs> uh, if, if anyone hear about that, and uh, he is a, a network engineer, that's very cool to hear, right? Um, I was thinking that I was also thinking that as we move forward to the future. Uh, everyone will still be using their cell phones. Everyone will still be having their computer. So that means that um, IT job will still be there maybe 10 years, 20 years from now. It's still there. Okay. So it will be um, uh, about uh, job security maybe. Also, as a former uh, math lover person, maybe Grace knows this about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like former problem solving. <laughs> For, for, former math lover, because now I, <laughs> maybe I already hate the calculus, but um, um, that, that, that made me, uh, I, I wanted to troubleshoot. I wanted to fix things. Yeah. But it's very different now because <laughs> as a security researcher, I don't fix now. It's, it's more on breaking things. <laughs> yes. Then were there people who help you along the way in your career? 
Um, yeah, certainly. Uh, there are definitely a lot of people who helped me in my career, both um, helped me directly and indirectly. Okay, so <clears throat> actually, I'm still in constant contact with most of them until now. <laughs> and if you guys are watching this, uh, you know who you are. <laughs> Uh, shout out to you and keep watching this video until the end. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So uh, what career positions did you experience so far? So how were you able to transition from that role or that role? So yeah. Okay. So after I graduated and then took the board exam, I initially started as a junior voice engineer. Yep. And then I became an L3 NOC uh, on another company after that and then became an SOC analyst in another company as well. Then just about two years ago, uh, became a soils engineer and then and a consultant. A consultant, <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then what are the basic tasks per role? Uh, can you cite some? Yeah, um, so initially for the junior voice engineer, we mainly troubleshoot VOIP issues, um, some, uh, you know, one way audio, static voice problem, SIP, RTP, all of those stuffs, more related or uh, they are all related to um, voice engineer or VOIP. Um, and then, of, of course, you should also have the, the, uh, the, um, the common knowledge of networking about that time. Okay. So after, after that, I became an Eltrinoc on another company and then after shifting to, 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 to the job after jumping from a junior to an L3 oh. <laughs> it, it, it's really a, a big leap actually yeah, yeah. because um, the, 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 the managers uh, and then the uh, upper management team um, they, they, they are expecting a lot of things from you yeah yeah uh, the, 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 the job was uh, to overlook uh, the company's network and then talking to technical leads of different companies especially when <laughs> um, integrating or offering your solutions or the, the company solutions to their customers of course and then of course uh, troubleshooting as well uh, an l3 problem problem then after after uh, after from an l3 knock i i jump again to another field which is um a more security related position, which is an S, uh, SOC analyst or SOC analyst on a different company. Um, again, the, uh, the, the job there was the, uh, about troubleshooting as well, and then performing other related incidents. And as of now, um, I'm, I'm, I'm still in the blue team uh, security, as, uh, actually. Uh, so, uh, Gian, is it okay to you if you can cite some problem or challenges you encounter during the work or uh, memorable yeah. to you? <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, during my consultation, maybe I think it was about last year, <laughs> uh, <laughs> there, there, there was a customer um, who wanted me to, uh, to fix their website. They have actually 30 web applications running on, on Word, WordPress and they are um, often being attacked or being compromised, uh, injecting some excess payload, if you know that. Um, uh, the, 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 the web applications, they are, uh, they, 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 they are often being compromised, yes, and they, they, they were asking me or they, were, they, they hired me to, um, to harden those web applications. Yeah, it, it was uh, 30 web applications that, that I was saying. Yeah, it's very hard. <laughs> it took me maybe uh, how many weeks to finish those. Yes, and we are we all know that attackers are always ready, <laughs> like DDoS <laughs> yeah. or what, any attack. And yeah. then next, are, are you leaning towards a generalist or you prefer to become a specialist? Yeah, so currently uh, I still wanted to be a specialist. Specialist, um, I, I would think of this as um, specialist and generalist as like a, a technical and also like uh, specialist as a technical. Generalist would be like a sales or management team. So if you are 
uh, if you wanted to troubleshoot out of things and you, 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 you wanted to have all your uh, dirty hands to work, um, you, 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 will be, you, you will need to be a specialist. You will have to be <clears throat> special or you will have uh, like a focus on, on one field that you wanted. But um, uh, with, the <laughs> with my current role, uh, I think it would be more of a generalist because of the current role, my, my current position, because I need to know a lot of things, not, not only related to security, but also other like a network and all, all those stuff that will be affect those um, um, on the role or, or on the job. Yes. Then, if you can travel back on time and give advice to, to your younger self, yeah, based from your experience, what would it be? Yeah. So, like flash, going back in time. Yes. <laughs> and you realize something that I must done this. I must done that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So maybe I would say, um, on my ten-year-old younger version i would say hey 10 year old younger gn you are actually doing great you are doing just fine um just hang in there <laughs> keep what you are doing and you will reach the end of the tunnel anytime soon maybe i will tell you or maybe i will um give a, give you an advice that skip the network engineering job <laughs> and go straight directly to the security <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's cyber security. You're also doing some network stops. Yeah. Yes, yes. And then, uh, what were the top three skills you think you need when you did uh, your roles? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, maybe um, the knowledge of the fundamentals for the networking um some other linux skills and maybe um, programming skills so wh what i mean with this is that um you you need to have a strong foundation of these th three that I, I gave you which is the network the linux and programming in order for you to um, this will give you a very good position in the industry yeah uh, Ray, do you <laughs> want to add something <laughs> uh, actually, thank you so much for for all those uh, for sharing your experience, GN. And uh, I uh, I think that that's quite a lot and very helpful for for the community. Thank you, thank you so much, Grace and GN. And I hope this was helpful for the community. Cyber Skill Farm empowering IT professionals.